Yeah. Hi to all. Uh, welcome to our channel. Today our topic is related to RDWare starter. Okay. One of our uh, subscriber comment in our uh, previous video sessions. I have uh, shared the screen also. You want to know about the reverse and forward drawings related to RDWare starter it is. Okay. Those who are new members just uh, go for subscription. Okay. Next, <laughs> the, coming to enter into the topic. Before going to enter into any topic, uh, everyone should know about the drawings related. Okay. That everyone may want to know about what is the purpose of the RDWare starter? What is the purpose of the topic? Okay. And what are those? Okay. What is the power of drawings? What is uh, control drawings kind of? Okay. And what is the purpose of the RDWare starter is nothing but, okay. It's motor starting technique. Okay. R devil is nothing but reverse direct online starter. Okay. For small application only, we use this one. Mostly where we need exactly direction control, there we can use our R devil starters. Okay. Here we don't have any speed controlling system. Okay. We have direction control is there. That means if you want to run the motor, industrial motor in forward direction and reverse direction, then we can use this R devil starter itself. Okay, and then overload protection is also there. Next, short circuit protection is also there for the RDWL starter. And one more thing, <clears throat> RDWL starter is having power wiring and then control wiring technique, right? Before going to enter into the power and control wiring kind of, first of all, RDWL starter, RDWL starter is, is having certain uh, specific is there. Let's say, for example, uh, one motor is having a uh, three phase connection like R, Y, B. If you want to run the motor in reverse direction, any two phases you need to interchange before entering into power drawings. First of all, you, need, you should know about the when our motor is going to reverse. When two phases is going to reverse, then it can start in the reverse direction also. Any two phases is nothing but R, Y, B is there. R, Y, you should change it. Otherwise, YP you should interchange it. Like that, any two phases, if you are going to interchange, then your motor in running into the reverse directions. Okay, that same technique only we are using in our power drawing techniques. Coming to power drawings, we use the three pole MCB, okay, for uh, short circuit protection. This RYB is going to give it to the forward contactor. Here we use two contactors. One is power forward contactor, one is reverse contactor. Okay, forward contactor is having R, Y, B like that. Okay, next reverse direction is having, if you observe here, two faces has interchanged here. R, Y, B, Y, B I have interchanged here. Okay, this, when you are, whenever you are going to activate this forward contactor coil, then this three phase supply will coming to the overload relay. From overload relay to motor, it will go. Okay, next, if you want to run in the reverse direction, you should, Press on reverse director, reverse contactor. Okay. Before going to that, we need to stop the motor first of all. Then you need to go to the reverse contactor. In when it is reverse contactor is running position, the phase directions has R B Y. And this three phase connection is going to give it to the overload. Overload purpose is nothing but if you want any overload is coming from input side, then it uh, it will trip the entire control circuit of the motor. It is going to turn off the motor itself automatically. The purpose of overload is overload protection. Purpose of MCB is short circuit protection. Okay. <clears throat> but we need to remember here, first of all, when forward contactor is running, reverse contactor should stop. When reverse contactor is running, forward contactor should stop. Okay. In controlling techniques, we should use this technology only. Okay. When forward is running, reverse should stop. When reverse contactor is running, forward should stop. How it is going to running that I can explain in the control circuit diagram. Okay. This is the control circuit related to RDWL starter. Okay. In starting stage, we should use fuse connection. Next, MCB contacting. Next, starting this terminal is going to connect with the, this phase terminal is going to connect with overload relay NC. Okay. Next, one more thing. You want to stop button is there that should also you should give in the starting stage only whenever you want any off related uh, 
activities or devices, you should connect here itself. Let's say if you want to stop the motor through emergency stop, through emergency stop, then we use this related only, off related. Okay. And then next, if you want to go with, uh, if you any, if you want to run, uh, let's say for example, if any limit switch is running, then this R dual should stop. That that NC you should give in the starting stage itself. Only. Coming go for the other thing also, like uh, if you want to go for any uh, relay, when when relay is running, when suddenly relay should stop, then automatically this R dual should stop. That is, this all comes under the uh, relay wiring technology. Whatever the off cases. You should connect in the first starting stage itself. Okay. Next, go for another one. This is forward contactor. This is reverse contact. Okay. Forward contactor, reverse contact. Here we use the on button, forward on button. We should give latching to the K1 itself. Here also same. When you, we, we use here uh, reverse start button. When reverse start button is having also same like latching circuit is there. Okay. This is dual. This is dual circuit. If you want to know about the DVL starter, you can go with the previous video also. You, you should have it. Should, it is available in the our channel. Okay. Let's say, for example, when you are going to start this button, this latching is going to running. This forward contactor is going to running position. When it is running, this one should stop. Na? That's why you should take this NC contact. The power contact should have NC contact. That NC contact you should connect in the starting of the reverse push button this one same like when you start this one reverse push button before that start in the reverse direction you should stop it you should stop it first of all our device shuttle should stop then you should press the reverse direction when you reverse is running position this this one should stop now that's why this ng you should give here this opposite of this one when it is going to running this one should stop when it is going to running this one should stop that's why this NC we have given here. This NC also we have given here. If you want to give more NCs also, you can take as NCs in the series of this one. In the relay circuit relay. But basic thing is this one itself. Only. Okay. Let's say for example, if you are running your motor in the forward direction, you should press this one. Then motor is running in the forward direction. That means for, through power contactor, through forward power contactor, it is going to running. Okay, then. Let's say for example, if you want to run in reverse direction, first of all, you should stop it. You should stop the RDL starter. Then you should go for the reverse direction. When reverse is running position, when reverse is running position, okay, this one should stop. Why? Because this K2NC I have given here. That's why it is obviously in the off cases only. If you want to turn off this one, first of all, you should stop it. Then you go for the forward. Let's say if your motor is in forward position, you should forward position let's say for example your motor is in forward direction okay if you want to run in a reverse direction you should stop it first of all then you go for the reverse direction. reverse push button okay all second coils of the power contactors forward contactor and reverse contactor you should give it to the neutral always the control wiring will start with the face end with the neutral okay <laughs> this is about the power and control circuit of the rd well starter if you want any new topic or related topic, just comment it so that I can study on the same topic and I will come with the same solution itself only. Okay. With our next videos, I'm going to uh, share this d -well, r d -well, and star delta connections in a live case. In lively, I can give an, one wiring session to the in the video. So that I will give the wiring so that I will show I will share the video based on the live related. Why? Because some of people is also asking. Not presentation, sir. We need a live videos kind of. Next video, I will come with the live videos. That means I am going to uh, having this a specific diagram which we have in our institute that I can share with you. Okay. That based on that, we can move on to the live sessions also. If you have any doubt is there, just comment it. Okay. If it is useful for your electrical department related in your work area or if you are a student, just share it with your students itself. If you are a faculty, Okay, share with your faculty itself. Like, also, otherwise, if you are a, uh, a new person or diploma person or polytechnic person in electrical and electronic field, just go through it. Okay. If it is having any doubt, is there just comment on it. Okay. If you want more videos for this one, just subscribe it. Okay. And 
if you are if you are really like this one just click on the like itself okay thank you